Hi video creators, Peter Lager here. Today we're gonna combine graphic shapes with TrackMate key effects to create the following transitions. These were only a few examples what you can do with this technique. And once you understand how this works, you will see that possibilities are endless. So without wasting more time, I will show you step by step how you can do it. And now I'm going to show you how you can do this transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. Inside Premiere Pro, I've already loaded two videos in the timeline that I'll be using for this demo. First, I'm going to grab the second video and put it over the first one. So I'll let it overlap for a few seconds. After that, I'm going to press the C button for the razor tool and cut the second video at the end of the first video. Then I'm going to press V and grab the second video left over and put it back to track one. So in that case, we're using that part of the second video for our transition. Then I'll move to the ellipse tool and go straight to the program monitor where I'm going to click with the left button of the mouse and hold shift at the same time so I can create a perfect circle. Then I'm going to press V and go to decrease the size of the program monitor so we can see what we are doing with the shape animation. And then I'm going to move the circle below the screen. After that, I'm going to level up the graphic shape layer with the second video layer. Then I'll head over to the effect control panel and open up the shape layer and enable position and scale keyframes by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Then I'm going to select the first pair of keyframes and move them at the beginning of the second video. Next, I move the cursor a few frames forward and create our second pair of keyframes by changing the position and the scale size of the circle. And that's how our animation will look like. To make the transition smooth, I'm gonna select the first pair of keyframes and click on tempo interpolation, then on ease out. Then I'm gonna select the second pair of keyframes and ease in. Next, I'll change the fill color from gray to white and also enable the stroke option and then change the color from white to gray. And this is what we've got so far. Next, we're gonna use this white shape to review the second video. And to do this, we have to go to effects and type track made key. So we're gonna go and grab the track made key effect and apply it to the video number two. And from there, we're gonna go back to the effect control panel and the track made key and select video three from the mate. From there, we can see the difference now that's Everything that it was white, now it's transparent and it reviews second video, as you can see on the program monitor. Next, make sure that you select the graphic shape layer and head towards the effect control panel. And from there, go down to the stroke option where we're going to increase the stroke width to 41%. And as you can see, this expanded the size of the circle. And by disabling the video number two, you're going to see that we add a second layer to our circle. After that, select video number two and go to the track mate key option and from mate alpha, change it to mate luma. And by doing this, we're adding a multiply transparency level to our video where everything that is gray is less transparent and everything that is white is fully transparent. And now you know all the basics how to create some amazing graphic shapes transitions with the track mate key effect. But this tutorial is not finished yet, and I'm gonna show you a few more examples. So let's start with this one. For this example, I'll be a little bit faster because you've seen how to do all the basics in the video earlier. So first we're gonna go to the rectangle tool and go straight to the program monitor and create a rectangle shape over the whole program monitor. After that, I'm gonna press V and adjust the shape to cover the whole program monitor. And then from there, I'm gonna select again the graphic shape and make it even with the second video layer in the timeline. After that, I'm gonna press V and delete the leftover of the graphic shape layer. After that, I'm gonna go to the effect control panel and open up the shape layer. 
and go to the position and create our first keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Then I'm gonna grab the keyframe and drag it to the end of the transition. After that, I'm gonna move the cursor somewhere along the middle of the program monitor and create our second keyframe. Next, I'll copy this keyframe and drag the cursor further back and place the keyframe over there. And again, I'm gonna drag the cursor a few frames backwards at the beginning of the shape transition and create our last keyframe where the shape is out of the frame. After that, I'm gonna select the first keyframe and go to temporal interpolation and ease out. I'm gonna go to the last keyframe, temporal interpolation and ease in. And the last, I'm gonna select both keyframes in the middle and apply the piece there. So that's what we've done so far. But to make it even better, first what we're gonna do is to enable the stroke option and then go select the second video layer and go to the TrackMate key effect and change it from Mate Alpha to Mate Luma. After that, we're gonna go back to the stroke option and increase the stroke width to 100%. So we're gonna have another layer of transparency in the video. So let's see what the final result looks like. Okay, I've got one more example, so let's go. For this example, I'll be using the rectangle too. So we'll create two rectangle shapes in the program monitor. The first shape will be at the top of the program monitor and the second shape will be at the bottom of the program monitor. After that, I'm gonna press V and adjust the shapes so they will cover the whole program monitor. Next, I will go down to the timeline and adjust the shape layer so it will match the length of the second video. And I'm gonna press C and cut the shape layer after that, I'm gonna press V and then delete the leftover of the shape layer. Next, I'll select the shape layer and move towards the effect control panel and then open up the first shape. After that, I'm gonna go down to the position and create our first keyframe by pressing on the stopwatch icon and drag that keyframe at the end of the transition. After that, I'm gonna create another keyframe where we're gonna drag the first shape until the end of the video to the right hand side and then do exactly the same with shape number two but that time instead dragging it to the right we drag it to the opposite side and move the keyframe to the beginning of the video after that i'll select the first two keyframes of both shapes press the right button and type point operation and then ease out after that i'll select the second keyframes temporal interpolation and ease in. So let's see how it looks like. That also concludes this Premiere Pro tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and if you did so, you might want to check this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.